hey you guys and welcome back to my channel hope you are having an amazing day as previously mentioned from the last video today is a delivery day so i'm gonna go ahead and start getting the dining area prep for the dining chairs the first thing that i'm gonna do is just wipe the table off make sure the area is clean this isn't the exact color that I wanted, but because I was probably going to be waiting a year to a year and a half to get it, I ended up going to um, like a resale store and I found the chairs as is and so I just got them as is. I didn't worry about changing it, the upholstery. Now that the table is clean, these are the dining chairs. And if you know me, you already know the table is from Bernhardt. I will leave a link in the description box. And the chairs are also from Bernhardt. You guys, I love these dining chairs. They are absolutely gorgeous. The only thing that I'm not liking is the fact that the original fabric that I had selected for these chairs was a performance fabric. The great benefit of this is, although you saw me sliding the chairs to the table, is that the chairs are actually on casters. Yes, you heard me right. The chairs are on casters. So now that you're taking a closer look, you can actually see how they allow the chair to roll. So basically, just like I mentioned a little earlier, the chair is on casters, you guys. Listen, <laughs> when selecting a furniture for your home, you want to make the process as easy and also as simple as possible. And I'm always thinking about the kids, how they're going to sit, how they're going to get up. And the reason why I actually opted for these chairs is because my office chair, while I was moving from Savannah, I just kind of put the chair by the table just because I sold the other tables. And I was like coming downstairs and I'm like, I really like this chair with this dog on table. But I knew I didn't want arms just because it was going to require more space. So I opted to go armless with these. The really great thing about these chairs is they're currently dining chairs, but in the future, if I wanted to, I can get them reupholstered and use it in an office space. You can use it as um, accent chairs in the living room if you wanted to, if you wanted to create like a kind of like a swivel, it will still work. If I wanted to take this and just kind of perch it into the corner, Again, when I was designing and setting things up for the floating shelves, I told you if you didn't have a desk and you wanted to have a desk area, so you did a floating shelf situation for the kids, you can also take this and do two chairs. That way the kids sit down and they, again, they would have easy um, access to kind of get in and out without anything. Again, the selling point for me was the fact that the whole thing was fabric. So I didn't have to worry about scratches. My table, although you cannot see it, upon moving, they scratched the mess out of it. Structurally, I really love this a whole lot. I'm a little sad that I could not do the performance fabric due to time and when I was gonna get the furniture back. But nonetheless, I do love these. These are really, really great. And maybe, you know, in a year from now, I can take these to Calico and have them reupholstered to the fabric that I actually want. So that's also an option too. And so for now, it is what it is, you know? I love it, they're beautiful. I love the floating shelves behind it. And if you were wondering, yes, this is exactly what I had envisioned. The only thing that I haven't done is change the light fixture, but overall how this space looks is exactly how I want it to look. Let me put the last piece on here, that way you guys can 
See that? If there has been one thing that I haven't regretted, it has to be this plant. Um, for those of you guys that are still asking about it, it was purchased from Haverty's approximately three, four years ago. The original price was like six or seven hundred dollars, and they had this huge like sale. It was in a back room, and it ended up being like seventy nine ninety nine or sixty nine. I can't really remember. But I went ahead and I grabbed it and literally it has been like the most like amazing thing ever. So I really do love it. It's amazing. So you guys, that is pretty much it for the video. Before I go, I know you guys are going to ask about the headband. So I'm going to leave this linked down below that you can find it. Um, again, this is from my mom and it's from, I think it's from Zara. It's from Zara probably a few years ago because my mom is very similar to me in which she purchased things, leave them in her closet and never wears them until like later. Um, the crop top bralette is from Zara. The skirt is from Zara. Everything's Zara, everything's Zara. <laughs> Mine is the headband. I'm home today, I'm not really doing anything. I had this plan, the house is clean. I'm so excited, the cleaning lady came and we both worked together to knock this out. I'm gonna try to go finish editing. I'm working on something, you guys. So for my birthday, I'm dropping something. If you are on Instagram, please, if you are not following me on Instagram, you wanna follow me on Instagram so you can stay in the know of what's going on because I have created design sessions. So that's gonna be coming on my birthday. It's gonna be dropping. So I suggest you guys prepare yourself to be sick of me. <laughs> Anyway, have an amazing day. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I've been hanging on, counting days, thinking it was me all along. Had a million conversations in my head about where it went wrong. And I've got no idea where you've been, who you are, not anymore. All I got is this Polaroid picture of us from June 24th. It's where I kissed you for the first time, laid on your sheets. You gave me your heart and said you trusted with me. But all I did was let you down time and time again. It wasn't my intention. Maybe we should have been friends. So, you're someone I used to know. But nobody said it be. Maybe I should have known One more drink to swallow it down I gotta get you out of my mind But nobody said it was easy Maybe I should have known I've been out till late shifting beds Trying to kill the image of you Got a million stupid reasons not to call just that I want to Do you remember how we Pulled the drapes in the basement To get away from the world That we couldn't fit in And how we used to walk those empty streets At night In the city lights Is where I saw you for the last time Said our goodbyes Sat in the car You saw the pain in my eyes But I just couldn't let you down Time and time again It wasn't my intention Maybe we should have been friends So You're someone I